you said it was going to be emotional, John. Yeah, well, it was obviously emotional, but uh, I, I'm uh, I'm really proud of uh, of everybody connected with our club. Uh, we've had uh, six, eight years, or whatever, uh, where people haven't spoken about Bradford in a in a very good light. I think anyone who's been to this occasion today will see how respectful and how dignified that the everybody connected with the club's been. And they've just, we've just conducted ourselves correctly and uh, we've allowed the correct people to take the limelight. We've contributed with the bits that we did. So I, I'm really pleased with uh, the players and everybody connected with them. And I'm, I'm proud of the players and, uh, and the club. And I feel doing things like this in the manner that we've done them is, is what we need to do. So people start talking about Bradford in a positive light uh, in that we, we demonstrate a bit of class because Anybody who's been to this game today will know it's been organised absolutely brilliantly and Leeds do things with class and that's what we need to aspire to. They're the benchmark, we need to aspire to that because uh, they're a class club and hopefully we've contributed to that today and hopefully it's been a great day for, for everyone. Was it really heartening at the end to hear former players, Jamie Peacock, Jamie Jones, Buchanan and Kevin Sinfield talk so highly uh, about the Bradford Bulls in a positive light. Yes, it was, it was, and that, that's what we're trying to rebuild now. You know, it, it didn't just, you, you don't have great clubs just based on money, you have great cl clubs based on standards and values. And, uh, you know, we've got an, an exemplary one here, where we're blue and amber, and they've demonstrated it for year upon year upon year. Well, we've got to aspire to do that, and I'm certain that we will, with these people in charge and with that group of players who are going out there and just giving their all in every situation, whether it's training, whether it's team meetings, whether it's on the field of play. What were your thoughts on the on the performance, John? I, I, I thought it was a very competitive game. You know, I, I was delighted. I, I thought Leeds, that first 15 minutes, I thought Leeds looked really, really sharp. And obviously, you know, we were a bit in a tumble dryer, but they hung on in there. They showed great resilience. They showed tremendous enthusiasm and desire and work rate. And we worked our way back into it. So I saw today from a rugby league perspective and Bradford rugby league perspective, lots of things we can build upon for this coming year. I think when you brought on Eben Skur and Keelan Foster, uh, that really helped turn the tide in effect. I, I'm not so sure it, it turned the tide. I, I think the resilience turned the tide, to tell you the truth. The fact that they just kept working and working and working and going through the process of rugby league in a, in a positive manner. So uh, yeah, we've got loads to build upon. I'm really pleased with, with what we've done today in, in the whole occasion. You didn't see anything in those final five or six minutes, did you, John? Including Stuart Field? I saw Stuart. I swear, well, <laughs> that first I carry, know. I thought, how old's this bloke? Because it was unbelievable, wasn't it, that first carry? And then Kyle Lula dropped out of the line and he flattened Sam Smith. I thought, perhaps we, we stopped him playing too early, you know. But it was tremendous, wasn't it? It was great to see them. And I, I just think how every, you know, Jamie Jones going on with 11 minutes left. And it was, it's just been done right. It's just been done right and it's it's a privilege to be part of this. Obviously to salute Jamie Jones's contribution to the game, but more importantly to, to raise some money for, for Rob and, and I think it, it's certainly done that to the nth degree. And John, we mentioned the legends there, but other end of the scale, what a great moment it was for you and Tom Doyle getting that final second try for you guys. Well. Oh yeah, it was, but you know, what about you, Harry Shackleton? He's, he's 17 <laughs> years of age, he's a kid. You know, and he's been out there, contributed well and He's played with a very good Bradford uh, Bulls team against a very good Leeds Rhinos team and then is also featured amongst some greats of the game in front of 20,000 folk and the Sky Camera. So he's had a pretty good day under the kid. He's had a pretty good day. Dan Whitepool and John, uh, wasn't he risked? No, he, he, was, he was unfit. So he didn't, he didn't play because he was unfit. He had a knee injury. He picked that up playing for Featherston last week. We knew that. But uh, the lads who played enjoyed themselves and contributed great. Your life's been spent in this sport, and you know what it means to everybody. Is yeah. this one of its greatest days, and what it does better than anything? It is. It is. Yeah. I mean, uh, I've I've been unfortunate enough to be in some, you know, s s there's been some situations like Adam Wittine and Liam Walker's death and. The Wakefield Club handled, handled those with respect and dignity and the wider Rugby League family show great support and I, th I think this has been a similar day and again, the, 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 you know, Rugby League is a special game, 
Yeah, I've had my life in rugby league and I'm, I'm proud to have been in and around this great game and in and around the great people within this game. I know you spoke John before the match a little bit, um, but can you just give us a, uh, your own quick tribute to Rob himself? Well, I mean, <laughs> Rob Burrow, oh, I, it's, I haven't heard anyone speak a bad word about Rob, and that's testimony to the man. And I think the very the biggest tribute he had is, is today, when twenty odd thousand people will come out and, and to a game, a pre-season game for him, when a broadcaster, Sky Sports will put it out, you know, on one of their channels. It's a heck of a tribute and that tells you exactly what how this game holds old in, 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 uh, in, 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 in how, how we view Rob. And I think the best way of saying Rob's loved, liked and respected throughout the game and that was demonstrated today.